Hey guys, so this is my second time filming this video. The first time I filmed it, I really didn't like how it came out. Um, just, I just wasn't feeling what I was wearing and just the day in general. So this is my second time trying to film this video. And this is going to be story time about the day that I got attacked by a bat. It was around, I was around uh, 15 or 16 years old. I'm pretty sure I was really close to 16 or 16, 17, one of those. Because I was just starting to date my then boyfriend. So... I was going on my first minute. I was going on my first, first missionary trip, and I'm going to Dominican Republic to give uh, food to the homeless and shelter and um, talk to some kids about it um, in Dominican Republic. I was going by myself with the church group. My parents weren't coming with me, and also my parents couldn't take me to the airport or pick me up from the airport because they had to work. So we came to the conclusion that my oldest brother Bryson was going to. Um, take me to the airport at 5 a.m. in the morning so I had to go over his house and sleep so my brother has a roommate and it's him who lives there so I had to share a bed with my brother at nighttime but this dude snores so loudly he could wake China from how loud he snores so I'm like no it's not gonna work I gotta go you're gonna keep me up all night like no so I get up, I leave the room, and I go downstairs, and I try to sleep on the couch, which is working. So I guess um, maybe an hour later, I guess my brother uh, felt that I wasn't um, next to him. So he came downstairs to come check on me, and when I when he comes downstairs, I hear him say, what the fuck? So I'm like, I jump up, like, what's wrong? And he was like, something just flew by my head. And I'm like, what are you talking about? He was like, I don't know what it is. So we like searching around for what flew by his head. And sure enough, there is a tiny little bat laying on his floor by his dinner table. So I'm like, what do we do? Like bats have rabies. Like I love animals. It doesn't matter if it's a rodent, a, a, a dog or a bear or some type of wild animal. Animals are just so cute to me but my brother hates them. So he is freaking out, which is making me freak out because I'm thinking he, this, this bat might have rabies. So we're like, okay, he's like, throw something on it. And I'm like, you know, to try to trap the, the bat under it. So I get like some kind of coat or cover and I half-heartedly throw it at it because I'm so scared. You know, I try to duck when I throw it at it. I completely miss. This bat swoops up. I mean, arm, it's wing length was so long with such a small body it was like oh my god like he long his arm length i mean his wing length is just way out there so he's swooping around our heads and we're ducking and screaming my brother is screaming like i have never seen him more freaked out in his life so we run over to his back door and swing open the porch door thinking that the bat is going to go out of it. But like most animals and insects, when you open the door, for some reason they think that's not the route to get home. That's, I should go completely the opposite way and follow these people upstairs. So me and my brother book it. We are running upstairs. Why do people run upstairs? You would think we will run outside. But no, we run upstairs and the bat follows us. So... For some reason, we get to his room and we forget to close the door. We're freaking out so much that we forget to close the door so the bat can't get in. So my brother dashes under his bed and he's trying to get under there. So I'm thinking, I don't know why I'm thinking this. It's a good idea to get under the bed. It's a good idea to get under the bed. No. So my brother can't fit under his bed. So he has the cover like this. He has the cover over his face trying to block the the bat at this point the bat is swooping over our faces while we're lying down on the bed so it's going all the way up on the ceiling and coming back down on our faces like so close he's yelling and then on top of that my brother has the audacity the audacity to push me from under the bed and tells me to go get my own spot and i'm like are you serious why are you pushing me i'm your little sister you are supposed to be protecting me if anything happens you are supposed to make sure i'm okay and he's pushing me from under the bed so that he can get under there and i have to go find my own spot to hide in this 
My brother is the type of dude that if you get caught in a zombie attack, he will push you into the zombies so that he can escape, and while they're busy eating you, he's just gone, streets down. Do not get caught in a zombie attack with him. Bryson, I trusted you. Finally, I get up. I get the balls to get up and run out the room. So he follows me and we slam the door. So we're like, oh my God, what do we do? <laughs> There's a bat in your room. So we eventually just go downstairs and go to sleep down there after we call, um, I, uh, what are those people you, I guess the exterminator? I didn't want the bat to be killed. I just wanted him to be removed from the house safely and just sit back out into the wild. I made sure that that is what happened, that he didn't kill the bat, but my brother would not go into his room until the exterminator had come, ex exterminator had come. and this happened around 3 a.m. in the morning, so we had to just leave the message for the exterminator. They don't, they're not open 24-7. I think, or they just, they weren't open till like 7 or 8 a.m. the next day. So we, he had to wait until I, he came back home after taking me to the airport to get the bat out of his house. Like, that was some crazy stuff. Like, I learned a lot about my brother that day. Oh, you never know how somebody's going to act until shit hits the fan and... When shit hits the fan like that, don't go to Bryson. You know what you did. You're horrible. I can't believe you were willing to throw me out under the bus to get attacked by a bat. You guys, let me know down below. Have you guys ever been attacked by a wild animal? Do you have any, any funny stories that you can tell? Let me know down below, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.